Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to show you how I get to Parma. It's a city just north of Florence, uh, about a two hour train ride away, and it's where they make, it's the region where they make Parmesan cheese and prosciutto. So I hope you enjoy. Parma is north of Florence in an area that's known for the original Parmesan cheese as well as prosciutto to Parma. This city has been on my bucket list for quite a while. An idea of how early in the morning I need to leave to be able to spend the entire day there, I went to trainitalia.com and typed in the Florence train station and then the Parma train station on a generic weekday morning. The fastest trains take a little over two hours and it's not a direct route. All the trains to Parma take a stop in Bologna. So leaving at 9.20 or even as late as 10 o'clock, it'll be close to lunchtime before I get there. So I think I'll have to leave a little bit earlier. And if I leave in the 8 o'clock hour, that gets me there just around uh, 10 o'clock when the stores start opening. Using Google Maps and clicking through the city of Parma, I narrowed it down and I see that the train station is actually a little bit of a hike into the city center. Like many cities, I imagine that there's a bus that goes to and from the train station to the city center, and I guess I'll have to do some research about that. Once in the city center, there's a main square as well as a very old cathedral and baptistry. One of the things that I like to do is to go into TripAdvisor and see what tours that are available in a certain city. Not that I want to take an organized tour, but I want to just get an idea of what they highlight and then see if I can just do those things on my own. As you can see here, things to do in Parma on TripAdvisor, many of which are bus tours that go into the countryside where Parmesan cheese is made as well as prosciutto de Parma. But I did spot a walking tour that takes about three hours that explores different shops that will provide you with wine and food and other things, all while walking around the city of Parma. This might be an option if I can get into the town early enough. I went to the site visititaly.eu and there was a link to top things to do in Parma. I'll attempt to capture each one of these things and see if it's uh, easy to do and where it is in relationship to the center of the city. The first one is a wine museum located in an ancient medieval castle town called Fontanelletto. It's well outside the city and TripAdvisor lists it as a seven hour tour that includes breakfast and lunch and a long bus ride. It doesn't sound like anything that I would really want to do, but considering I have to combine it with a two hour train ride back to Florence. The second is a museum dedicated to the area's pharmaceutical history. It's located a little bit outside the city center, but I imagine I can find a taxi to get me there if I really decide to see it. The third is a museum that takes you on a tour of herbs, botanical products, and spices that shows you the journey of medieval herbal medicine. And it's located in the Abbey complex of San Giovanni Evangelista, which is located just right behind the main cathedral. Definitely easy to find and definitely sounds interesting. The fourth is a gastronomic museum that provides a history of the pig that will soon become prosciutto de Parma. The farm is located well outside the city of Parma and would require an organized tour to probably take all day. Sounds interesting, but probably not something I can do on a day trip. The next museum on the list is dedicated to the production of Parmesan cheese. So this museum is also a farm and it's located well outside the city limits of Parma. And just like the meat shops and the delicatessens where I can get a sample of prosciutto, there's also shops on the street that are dedicated to cheeses. So my plan will be to step into a cheese shop, get a sample of Parmesan cheese, then walk to a meat shop, get a sample of prosciutto, and then stop at a cafe bar and get a glass of wine. I think I have my plan. Another destination on the list is a museum that tells the story of salami. As in many of the other museums I've discussed so far, this one is also located in a cellar of an ancient castle, and this castle dates back to 890 AD. It's also well outside the city and may not be easy to get to without using an organized tour. The seventh destination on this list is the Basilica del Paradiso. It's a Renaissance basilica which also contains a library and a museum with some art. It's located right in the middle of the city and is well worth a visit. 
The eighth destination on the list is the Ferrari Museum in Marinello. It's well outside the city, but they offer driving simulators and a view of historic cars and a shuttle that takes you around the factory. Although the main focus of many of the tours in and around Parma are dedicated to the countryside where they make prosciutto di Parma and Parmesan cheese, I think I'll dedicate myself to the city center, meandering through the streets, looking for the meat places for the prosciutto di Parma samples and the cheese places for the samples of Parmesan cheese. When I looked at Google Maps and some of the restaurants that were in the area, I looked at some of the pictures that people had posted and I saw Parmesan cheese, I saw prosciutto, definitely saw some wine. I think this will be a great foodie destination for lunch. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of the food destination called Parma. I'm really looking forward to the visit. In this next video, I'm thinking about doing a little bit about cell phone and uh, what my plan is for using a cell phone when I get to Italy. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.